Okay, back to that story we were talking about earlier, pancreatic cancer rates rising among young women. So joining us now is Dr. Daniel King to talk about this. Uh, doctor, welcome back. Thank you so much. All right, can you tell us first, were you surprised to hear about these numbers in this new study? Certainly their findings are concerning and provocative. What we knew already is that the incidence of the disease is about 60,000 patients a year. And we observed in an earlier smaller study that the incidence seems to be rising for younger people. So this is now confirmed by this much larger analysis of nearly a half a million people uh, from data collected this CDC. It showed that the incidence is rising across the board by about 1%, but that the rise is highest for younger uh, people. Uh, so this study focused on the 10% or so of patients who are younger, younger than 55. Right. The study found a statistically significant increase, uh, about 2.4%, driven in part by African-American patients. Mm. So let me ask you something. Any guesses about, I know you guys don't like to guess, but uh, any <laughs> wondering why uh, more young women are being diagnosed with pancreatic uh, cancer? I mean, we know that there are several risk factors for developing pancreatic cancer, smoking, diabetes, chronic pancreatitis, but I'm not so sure that those are the reasons that are contributing. It may right. just be that uh, that we're actually testing younger women more mm -hmm. often. And because we're testing, we're uncovering the disease and that we may be just diagnosing it more often. And so I guess you could ask, why are we testing it more often? I think there's probably an increasing understanding that there are certain conditions such as the BRCA gene uh, mutations, which many of your viewers may recognize from breast cancer. Those also, uh, those types of mutations are also found in pancreatic cancer. It may just be that we're testing it more often. Okay, so doctor, are there any symptoms or warning, warning signs out there to actually catch this cancer earlier? The difficult thing with pancreatic cancer is there's generally no symptoms that are really reliable to use as an indication for pancreatic cancer. It's a deep organ in the body and it just can't be seen outside like skin and skin cancer. We absolutely need better screening tests. And we haven't just been able to identify a screening tests that work sufficiently well. Actually, that is changing as of this year now. Uh, there is a, a major uh, gastroenterology group that is recommending uh, endoscopy and MRI for patients that are sufficiently high risk, like, for example, patients that have underlying BRCA mutations. Mm -hmm. Well, I know pancreatic cancer is the third deadliest uh, cancer. If somebody is diagnosed, can they recover or are there treatment options out there right now? Yeah, I mean, that's right. I mean, not only that, in 2030, it's projected to be the second uh, oh, biggest yeah. killer of pancreatic cancer. And that's because, you know, while survival is improving for a variety of cancer types, we need better improvements. We need improvements in pancreatic cancer to fight this disease earlier. The best strategy to manage a new diagnosis is to have multidisciplinary discussion in a high volume referral center where patients can have access to clinical trials. That's really the way forward with pancreatic cancer. Um, we have to test new approaches, new drugs, uh, find the disease earlier so that we can remo remove it and have a chance of cure. Speaking of early detection, are there any steps or there anything that a person can do to try and prevent this disease? Certainly maintaining a healthy, varied diet with regular exercise is likely to have several health benefits for risk reduction for a variety of cancers, including pancreatic cancer. Well, Dr. King, thank you so much for joining us to talk about this uh, really important topic this afternoon. I'm glad, glad we got you back. <laughs> Likewise, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Sure. For more information on pancreatic cancer and how you can prevent a diagnosis, visit the American Cancer Society's website at cancer.org.